I believe that we all have our system set up, and uh, it's time to do a field test and bring our tracker to the field and see how it works. And I will take my tracker as example. And because it's a rather low end device, and if that works, and I believe phone will work too. So let me review my setting uh, to my device again. And it's a uh, testing, so uh, I would, uh, you know, uh, take my GPIS tracker as example. As you can see, that uh, is already there. So let me see. Let me see. It's already there. So I already have my device set up outside to make sure that work. It works okay. And I will set my trigger ID HI high as device ID and the minimum time response time I will set 10 seconds okay so that will be the call as you can see that from here and that will be the number the line the row 46 is high and another one is at the end about uh, 6 629 okay it's 10 seconds over here and I have uploaded my device, my, my code to my device. And it's, as you can see, that uh, it's already uploaded. Then I will set uh, two geofans. Okay, one is school, one is office for testing. So let me go to my NORAD. Okay, I have my two geofans set up in the tab of global geofans. Okay, and how can I do the second one? We since we already have one already. So what I do is that I just you know copy 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 that. As you can see, that is uh, already you know highlighted. Then I press Control C, and you can see that is a thirty nodes copy. And Control V, okay. So as you can see that, uh, so I can have the second geofence. So I have do that. So I already have my second one copied. So. I won't do that again here. And what you need to change is, as I explained in the earlier video, that uh, we have to uh, change a geofence here. Okay, so if you open it up, and you will see a map over here, then what we do is, you know, you can delete this one, delete layer. And recircle another one. Okay, and just uh, circle uh, one geofence for yourself. Then I will change the name in school because that is the school school that I will do the testing. So make sure that inside, so the message is in. Okay, then. Copy, past, copy V, copy, uh, control C, control V again. Then, make sure it's out. Okay, sorry, it's in, inside, and it's in school. Okay, so that, Oh, sorry. You have to change the out, out, and 
message changed to out. Okay, so I have done that. So you just uh, if you need to do that again, you just you know delete this one and replace this one. Do that this way, okay? So you know I won't do that again here. So it's just uh, do it yourself. Then the message has to change again because I have changed to school as I explained you have to copy that to the you know editor then change this message then it's in school and this one is our school our school okay so uh, you basically if you've done that that you can do the second one the second one will be the, you know, the different location. Okay, so I choose a different location for my office. Okay, you can do that on your own. And the same for this note. Then change the message for this note too. Okay, so when we do that, we expect that all the location message come in here and you were the same coming here too then you would judge if that is in school or out school or in school or out uh, in office or out of office then you send a message to uh, the lock and you will send also send a message to slack too okay then let me make sure that my device can receive message so let me do the testing here okay so since my device is ready then let me make sure it can you know deliver message Okay, then trigger. It's fresh now. Okay, so I got a message right now, and but we expect to receive the the event that means is in school or out school or in office or out of office okay so let me let me deploy this when I deploy this I can expect that the geofence will be applied okay so you can expect that uh, you know the system will take the last location message and give me the you know the status that means is high high this device is out of office and out of school okay for the event okay so that it will work perfectly uh, but if we trigger again, and I expect that uh, it will send a message for the location, okay? But you send a location for the location, okay? But I would not get the event unless this device is inside of school or inside of office so you know it worked perfectly at this moment so what we will do is I have set uh, two geofence right here and you will see that uh, my location is 
right now is here and uh, the device is named Hi and I have to set I have set two geofans one is school over here one is office over here then I would have my device later to walk around this area so firstly I will go to this road then we'll enter this geofence school then when I enter this location I believe that we will expect to receive a message is called hi enter school okay so there will be in school okay in school then if I walking out of the region then I will expect to receive another message called our school then when I enter this region this region that I will receive another message called in school high in school and when I out of this region that I will receive another message called out of office and I will come back then if I can well receive four messages that means that uh, the tracker is working very well very perfectly okay so I will bring my device out and I will keep the screen on then you will see how it moves and what the message will be and let's go